Welcome to Mum and Dad's Plantation. Its official name is Rui, but when we were young, we often jokingly referred to it as the Swamp. We called it the Swamp because until Dad drained the land, prepared the soil, planted the trees, it was uninhabited swamp land. Dad began building the plantation in the early 80s. Dad was able to see beyond people's doubts to the beautiful plantation it is today. Rui is one of the largest coffee plantations in Papua New Guinea. Coffee has played a multifaceted role in moulding history. It has helped alter social, political and economic life across the world, and no more than in Papua New Guinea. Coffee is an extremely important source of revenue in Papua New Guinea, providing a living for hundreds of thousands of people. New Guinea coffee was cultivated from Blue Mountain variety stock and the results make New Guinea washed arabicas rather different from other coffees around the world. New Guinea's coffee has a good body and sweetness with a higher acidity closer to the style of Central America's. In short, New Guinea coffee can stand on its own. Here you can see coffee trees either side of the drain, covered by shade trees. A coffee plant begins its life as a sprout, issuing from a parchment bean which has been planted in a shallow sandy soil. It needs to be tended to for a year, gradually becoming more exposed to weather as a nursery roof or protective covering is slowly removed. At most, a few hours per day of direct sun is all a rather temperamental coffee tree will ever want. This is why shade trees are necessary for coffee survival. When a coffee tree is in around four to five years old, it'll begin to blossom and bear fruit. The flowers last only a few days, then are soon replaced by clusters of small green berries, which take several months to become ripe, red cherries ready for picking. Here you can see some of the leftover machinery Dad used to drain the swamp, or Rui Plantation. In order to take care of both the plantation and his employees, Dad divided the plantation into sections and allocated a caretaker to each section. Each caretaker was provided with a salary, a plot of land on which to build their house, grow their garden and tend their animals. In addition to the regular employees that live on the plantation, mum and dad would employ seasonal pickers. Here you can see one of the workers picking coffee. All coffee trees are capable of bearing blossom, green fruit and ripe fruit simultaneously on the same branch. Thus, almost certainly necessitating harvesting by hand. Here you can see children of some of the employees on the plantation. 